What's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. You're yeah, welcome to Love Nets TV, the home of comedy, trendy news and viral stories. If this is your first time of coming across my channel, you're highly welcome. And if you may God bless you for stopping by, please do not forget to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time we drop our videos of trending stories. You're a returning subscriber and God keep on blessing you. While we're stopping by, so guys, I'm right back here with another trending video of Nigerian comedian porn filmmaker Bright Okocha, probably known as Basket Mouth, setting the media a boost with his latest revelation about leading Hollywood figure Ponke Akindele. In a no hold bad interview with Arise TV, Basket Mouth explained the struggle he faced while creating his first major cinema release. Called a, a ghetto love story. Paskema went on to explain that he first contacted uh, Funke Akendele sometime in August, and the conversation was a nice one. But later, he realized that after some time, he called her, but she couldn't. She wasn't picking a series of texts without no reply. He believed that he believed that Funke Akendele was an initial choice. Because he thinks that she could be the right person that could mentor her from start to finish of the movie. They had to have a real plan. We should move on to contact Mo Abudu. And now we're talking, guys. Just hop into the video and, and watch him speak. A review oh, this was humbling. Why did you That's say it was beautiful. Dramatic. So I want to ask dramatic a question. With the actually. Yes. Yes. Collaborating. Yeah. Oh, no. When I started calling all these, like Moabudu and the rest of them, you know, I had a plan I was going to start with. Uh, the plan was to start with Funke Akindele and just run it all through. But when I called Funke, she was excited. And the next thing, that was, like, that was in August, I think. And she never picked up my calls again. <laughs> but she was making a move. Maybe she was busy or her phone is on silent or maybe the phone She's goes She's listening spoiled. now. So oh, she, she, will, will oh yeah, I hope she picks up or responds to my message. I've sent over like, 25 messages or whatever, mm -hmm. but she didn't respond. So I had to change the whole plan and re-strategize. Then I had to go to Mo, this and that. But the rest of them came through, like 100%. I called Mo and Mo, like, you know, she, normally she doesn't do stuff like that. And she was just, she jumped on it. But sooner or later, I believe that filmmakers in Nigeria will get to understand that collaboration is the new competition. Mm -hmm. I am in this space. I'm not competing with anybody. I'm just here to make movies, good I, movies that can represent Nigeria worldwide. Yeah, I really want, almost like you assembling the Avengers team yeah. for this movie. So I want to speak, to, I want you to uh, speak to me about that. And also collaboration on the other end with other filmmakers. I saw that in the marketing, you were very particular. You were doing calls with Moabudu, you know, the calls with, uh, you know, Monio Boli. There were so many other people on there. How did that, you know, work? Collaborating with other filmmakers as well to promote the movie. Yo, so in terms of, um, making the film, you know, when we decided to work on the, jump on the project, that I, I've been watching the industry for a very long time, and I've seen the flaws. Most movie makers, they make movies to make money. It's an investment for them. They want to put in 200 million or 150, and I expect to make a billion. That's what they do. So when your, your intention is to make money, Without knowing, you're already cutting down your budget because you do not want to exceed a budget. You want to make profit. So you are scaling down on the, the, the substance of the movie, the quality and everything. But in my own case, I, don't, I didn't make the movie to make money. I made the movie to create art, to create excellence. Like, I felt or I feel that Nigerian films can be better. And I, I got tired of complaining. So the plan was, you know what, assemble the best. Don't compromise because if you want the best, it's either you bargain, you barter, or you go look for the money. Mm -hmm. So I tried all three. I used, <laughs> I used all three. I bargained, did barter for some of them, but I did not cut down on the quality of the movie. That's why you see how great the movie is. I am, I'm bragging about it right now. It's not, it's not so like I'm trying to, I'm not trying you, to be you humble. Are not, you're bragging right now. Yeah, recall, I'm not recall, even humble basket. right now. <laughs> basket, when you were here last year, yeah. um, you spoke about um, your aspirations and plans. Mm. You were going to be 45 or something. You yeah. were, a show was coming, and then you said that there will be a movie. Are yeah. you satisfied with the progression oh, yes. that you set for yourself? Yes, it was well-timed. 
God came through for me. Mm. You know, most times we make plans, but you know, it's, it's up to God to make it come to life. You know, and everything happened exactly the same way I planned it. The, the director came with his A game. Everybody, Victoria nailed mm. the screen. You've seen the movie, yeah. you know, it's a mm. brilliant movie. And you know, with collaborations with the uh, filmmakers. It was it was dramatic, you mm. know. <laughs> I, I read the yeah, review on Cine, Cine, yeah. Cinema Pointer, by the way, and that was it's good. You know, it's good, it's good excellent review. Review. I was so humbled when I saw that review. It was, it was humbling. Why did you That's say it was beautiful. dramatic? That's beautiful. So I want to ask you a question. With the actually, filmmakers yes. Yes. collaborating. Yeah. Oh, you know, when I was calling all these like Moabudu and the rest of them, you know, I had a plan. I was going to start with uh, the plan was to start with Funke Akindele and just run it all through. But when I called Funke, she was excited, and the next thing, that was, like, that was in August, I think, and she never picked up my calls again. <laughs> but she was making a movie. Maybe she was busy, or her phone is on silent, or maybe the phone She's goes spoiled. now, so oh, she, she, you will Oh, yeah, it. I hope she picks up or responds to my message. I've sent over, like, 25 messages or whatever. Mm -hmm. But she didn't respond, so I had to change the whole plan and re-strategize then. I had to go to Mo, this and that. But the rest of them came through, like 100%. I called Mo, and Mo, like, you know, she, normally she doesn't do stuff like that. And she was just, she jumped on it. But sooner or later, I believe that filmmakers in Nigeria will get to understand that collaboration is the new competition. Mm. I am in this space. I'm not competing with anybody. I'm just here to make movies, good I, movies that can represent Nigeria worldwide. Yeah, I really appreciate it. So, guys, thank you for watching to the end. What's your thought on this? Please, you can drop it constructively in the comment section. But I have this question to ask. Do you think that Funke Akindele deliberately wasn't picking his calls? Or she was busy truly? If you think so, please you drop it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.